Welcome back to my play uh, playthrough of the game Cradle. This is Technix, and uh, yes, it does look like this is the last chapter. Um, but I figured I would start this. I don't know how long this is going to take, uh, but it will also leave me some time to uh, make a few comments. So I am supposed to uh, take Ida to a powerful source of electricity. I'm going to assume that's. Can I? Oh, I can't. Um, source of electricity. Well, it's raining. Uh, so possibly... Yep, that's it. Place is getting shocked by uh, electricity over there, so... This is... Sad, a little creepy. in a vertical position at the center of the ruined flower bed. Here we animate Ida with uh, okay, uh, now I'm Dr. Frankenstein. Uh with an electric cable or uh looks like an electric cable right here. Very convenient. Because you know, picking this up is Incredibly safe for me. Whoa. Guess I got uh, electrocuted there? So I have to do it between lightning strikes. How do I. Plug it into her or something, or drop it real quick. Hey, now. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Um, 
There we go. Describe your state. I feel anxious. That's good. Good? Yes. Just don't shut down. Look at me. Why? I'll explain everything later. but it's just interesting <laughs> all right well that looks like it's the end of the gameplay for um, game cradle um, I'm confused um, I thought I was putting it together but I'm confused I uh, you know I've, I was looking at some posts in the forums and stuff and it's you know there's a bunch of theories about what's going on obviously you know that we possibly knew Ida earlier um, there's time travel theory um, I guess there's a few clues that it pointed out in the very last clip there before the, the trails the trailer is going on um, and uh, um, you know if you're supposed to, I guess if you read every single scrap of, of paper around the around uh, your place that's supposed to give more insight um, but I don't think anybody actually knows for sure what the actual meaning is my impression of the game is that honestly um, I liked it it was fun for a short game I thought it was gonna be longer I uh, guess well, I wasn't paying attention uh, but uh, I um, uh, I honestly 
was kind of hoping for it to be a little bit more expansive in you know in the sense that like when you get um, you know with uh, mist or you know I keep mentioning this because Mi the mist is just an awesome you know the mist series are just awesome games and uh, so is uh, Siberia uh, you know I wanted to go I guess I wanted to go a little bit further uh, I don't know how far I haven't tracked I should jump in and and uh, again and you know see exactly how far I can go um, and look around and stuff, but uh, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more travel in in uh, the uh, or ex exploration in the uh, uh, you know in the process. Uh, you know, at one point it did get a little. Uh, while the games are kind of cool, the little mini games are kind of cool. It is a little redundant and redundant in the sense that it's just you know well storyline and then oh I need a piece go do a game get the piece and then come back more storyline um, the storyline was really cool I thought it was cool and the and I mean the, the atmosphere was amazing I loved it a lot and I, I would totally love like if they could just take this and expand it it would be totally awesome um, um, you know, I'm not gonna rate the game or anything like that because I don't think I'm 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 uh, versed enough to actually do do a rating of, of you know like out of ten or something like that. I don't know. I, I would say maybe uh, I would have to rate it on different scales. You know, like for for different components. But uh, um, overall, you know, it was a fun fun short game. If I'd known it was shorter, I probably would have uh, spaced or worked out my my. Uh, episodes a little bit differently but um but you know i thought it was a good game it was, it was a good uh good little playthrough and it was uh um pretty and i think you know maybe jumping in and just sort of you know free roaming would be kind of cool so i might have to play with that and see um i'm probably gonna jump in and start looking at some more some more of the stuff around um around the the uh the place to see if i can find um any more clues about what's going on but um, anyway, so I'm uh, hope you liked the playthrough, and um, uh, like I said, I'm looking for a, a new game right now. Um, this ended a little bit more sudden than I expected, so um, I'm kind of scrambling to find something so that I can throw it on right away. Um, you know, I've seen a couple other people throw uh, put some stuff up that is um, looks pretty interesting um, that are you know in early early access or getting ready to come out that I might try. Um, but I'm still kind of looking around. Um, I want, I kind of want to find stuff like this, um, where it's not a whole lot of combat or not a whole lot of, um, I think the only th other thing I've been sort of playing with recently is the, uh, uh, the new, uh, Origins, uh, Magic Origins came out, which I'm kind of having some issues with, so, um, but I will find something, um, and I will put it up, and anyway, so, hoping you liked it, uh, like, subscribe, and um, I will see you in the next series. Thank you.